My name is Michael Phillips. I'm a uh, organic apple grower and we're up here in northern New Hampshire. This, our farm is called Heartsong Farm Healing Herbs because we do a lot of different things with medicinal herbs and I also grow apples. We have probably 60 to 80 varieties. I'm growing all these different varieties because I like them and because they taste great and I want people to understand um, all these flavors exist in apple. This is a heirloom apple from Maine known as Black Oxford. This is an apple that makes wonderful sauce. Um, was grown on many Maine farms because of its keeping abilities and also its dependability in that growing place. You know, it's not an apple for every part of the country, but as you can see this year, it's just beautiful. And it, it tends to be one of those that the insects leave alone, which is a nice feature in an apple. You don't get that every, everywhere. Right at any moment, there's an apple that's ripe in the growing se in the harvest season. And every apple has its moment. Some of them may only last 24 hours. Some can last for several weeks. Right now, if I had to pick one, I'd go right over to this honey gold tree. They're phenomenal. This is a perfect apple to eat any day in October. I used to have a lot of spotting problems with it when I was using certified organic methods around using sulfur. Now that I've gotten away from using that at all, uh, this apple just has a really nice finish. It's not just about not using chemicals. It's also about building the health of the tree, building the health of the soil, building the health of the ecosystem, and, and really understanding how all these different intricate things fit together um, to make it possible to grow a piece of fruit that not only is not coated with pesticides, but is, is filled with more nutrients and more taste density, if you will, because of the way it was grown. This is holistic orcharding, and this is health-based, it's health-focused. I work the apple barn on Saturday and Sundays. That's when I have the apples picked on Friday. I, my day job during the week is I'm either working the farm <laughs> or writing a book or doing carpentry work for somebody. And on Fridays, I pick the fruit. So it's fresh, it's ripe, it's, it's tree ripe. It's developed maximum flavor. Those apples are in bushels, boxes down in the barn. People come in and they select whatever varieties they want to put in their peck bag or half peck bag, whatever quantity they're getting. And I also do sell some apple shares. The purpose of that is to raise money back in spring when I need to buy the neem oil or maybe the calcitic lime. Getting those supplies is supported by the apple shares. When people enter the barn, there's a cutting board and there's a knife. And I get them to taste varieties they never heard of. They start to experience flavors and, and apples that they didn't imagine existed. They also experience familiar varieties like Macintosh and McGowan in a whole new way. And just to start to realize that all this variety exists in this one fruit we call the apple it really gets people intrigued and interested and they start to understand what an apple really is supposed to taste like. And that is all the selling point I need.